Before I ask specifics, how how's the pre-draft stuff going for you? Well, it's um, you know it's been a it's been a fun ride um, so far. Everything has been going just as you know I wished it would have. Um, couldn't have thought of anything better. Maybe uh, and really it's you know it's hard work, but it's also uh, you know what you live for. You know you're one step closer to your dream during this time. Um, I think you, you opened some eyes. You know, in Indianapolis with the 40 time, you probably knew you had that in you, or did you? I definitely did. Um, <laughs> you know, coming, coming in Iowa, I mean, I ran a 4.50 and knew that I could definitely get faster. And, uh, you know, that was that was coming after a shoulder injury, you know, not really having the all spring to work out. So I definitely know that uh, I have the ability to get faster. And I, I was happy with my performance at Indy uh, and the way I caught the ball. And it was just a fun time down there. Did you run the 40 again at Pro Day? Or? No, I didn't. I okay. just did position drills and I redid my L drill because I had a 7-1 um, L drill at the uh, combine and I wanted to get at least a sub-7. I did. I, I got a uh, time to the 6 six nine five and 6 nine three. So. Are you getting a feel anywhere round-wise or team-wise? You know, or? Uh, every team you talk to, you know, it seems like they need a receiver or something, but really uh, not yet. It's still kind of early in the process. and. You know, maybe no more, maybe the weeks before the draft, right before the draft. Feedback, what kind of feedback are you getting from these pro teams when you're meeting with them? Um, really that, you know, uh, see a lot, they like me. Um, they like to see me, you know, maybe do a little things a little better and continue to grow, but they definitely see an upside to what I can bring to a team. Is that, I mean, you still have, you know, you've only played for three yeah. years at receiver. Does that kind of give you more of a ceiling maybe than some of the other guys? You know, uh... I, I would say that um, I, I feel like I'm steadily improving. I always have more to learn, and um, I'm never going to be um, complacent with where I am because I always feel like there's somebody better and somebody that I need to get better than. And uh, it's it's always just a, a moment of where you you never get settled, in, you know, until until you're done playing. Are you glad you came back? Oh, definitely. You know, it was a decision that I I look back on and told myself I'm glad you did it. Um, and Really, I can't see any any negatives coming from it. What What did you do in Arizona? What was the, the um, I mean, same almost training as here, Coach Doyle. Um, you know, Coach Doyle and his staff do a great job preparing me. And then in Arizona, they just you know added to it. Really, uh, you know, did a little bit of a different style of certain movements, but really it was all the same. Um, just you around different talent, and you just kind of get a different different atmosphere. Um, to get ready for the pro for the combine. Have you talked to any, or leaned on any of your, you know, former Iowa players? Have they helped you out here Definitely. in this? Um, you know, uh, Adrian Claiborne actually came down to Arizona, met him at dinner one night, and we just talked. And you know, Sean Green, you know, tweets him a little bit, and really all all the older guys, Nate Kading, um, you know, Abdul, um, Greenway, Campman, you know, all those guys really, you know. Well, they're there for you if the, you know you need somebody, and, and that's what's good about being part of the Hawkeye family is we're all one. You know, even though we didn't play in the same era, you know, we all have share that same blood. Um, I think people put labels on guys. They're like, okay, he's going to be a number three guy in the NFL or number two guy, number yeah. one guy. I, I imagine for you, you can't get wrapped up in that stuff. You got to try to be the best you, you can you, be. You always have to be the best you. Be, um, whether you come in as a number five guy, you know, on the roster spot, or even um, number f number one, um, it doesn't matter because you always still have to work just as hard and continue to get better. What are your areas? Do you feel like what kind of feedback have you gotten where people what they, what they want to see more of from you or um, questions? Really they, they just question my speed, and that was something they, they questioned at the combine, and they also question whether I can get in and out of cuts or you know, can I be that um, go-to guy uh, at the next level when the competition rises? And, and really it just comes down to getting there and showing them.